Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back with my little scrappy box that I just made in the video before this one. I'm actually working on this on the same day. The other video has just been uploaded, but I thought I really want to Mod Podge this and I figured I should start tonight because I want it to be able to dry and then it'll give me a video for tomorrow. Or in your case, if you're watching it now, it's giving you a video for now. I will link down below to this video. It's just a, you know, fun little craft that I know somebody else out there loves it as much as I do. But, you know, I'm sure some don't. Because <laughs> not everybody can be cool like me. <laughs> Here's the deal. I want to Mod Podge this and then I want to make a square you know square bottom like insert that we're going to put in here or something I mean that's what I'd like to do because I just don't like it finished like this I'm actually going to use this I like boxes so I will use this um actually it's more like a basket because there's no cover we could do a cover <gasps> don't give me ideas that actually would be a cool idea but maybe another time I have two different Mod Podges here. My usual go-to is the Gloss Mod Podge. I'll have links to Mod Podge in the description box down below. And then I finally bought a matte Mod Podge. I don't know if I've ever used it. I think I might have done a couple paper beads with it, but yeah, it's pretty much brand new. I, you know, might have dipped a brush in there once. I think I'm going to start with the matte and let that dry, probably do two or three coats. And then um, if I want, I can end with the gloss. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. I just like to pour some in the uh, cap. And we'll just get started. Ooh, that smells like white glue. I picked this brush. I have lots of brushes. I want, you know, something fairly big. And I'm not going to do the bottom at this point. I think I will, but I want to work on the sides first. So let's just see how this goes. Let's see if I ruin it. The other cool thing is it's going to keep all the, um, the threads from being so scrappy. I'll be doing this in fast speed for the most part and I'm just going to add not too thick of a layer. I'd rather have several light layers let it dry you know in between. I will actually put my oven on at the lowest temperature. I think mine I don't know if it's 200 or if it goes to 170 and then uh, I can put this in there and it will help it to dry quicker. Sometimes it'll dry like in 10 or 15 minutes. We'll see how that goes. It'll be easier to um, get that nylon thread out. I'll have to trim that. It'll be easier to put the other coats on because it will have a, a coating on it. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is so relaxing to do crafts like this. I just love it. Okay, let's do this side. Cue music. I stopped for a second to um take off a curly nylon thread. I don't like using my cover because it's not heavy enough and it just keeps flipping around. So let's just put a blob of Mod Podge on here. And I'm holding it upside down now because the other three sides are wet. Much better. Although, eeks! I'm just gonna put a bunch of that on there. I wanna clean out the cap. I'm so uh, classy. Is coat number one. I'd like to put some on the bottom too. I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to um, wash my brush. I am going to make sure I close this 
good. And I'm going to turn my oven on to the lowest temp and I'm going to stick this in there, probably right on the, the rack of the oven, this way. And um, maybe 15 minutes and I'll be back. You guys, this is so different with the Mod Podge. Um, first of all, my oven goes to 170 degrees and uh, it only took 10 minutes and it is dry, it's stiff, and look, now I showed close-ups at the end of the previous video, and I'm sure there's a difference here. It just looks like, I don't know, like finished plastic or something. The threads like barely show and I, you know, I like them to show, but they're like all just caught. And this is the mat. I don't know. I don't know if I should stop at the mat or do the gloss, but I am going to put another coat of mat. I don't think you need to watch me do that. I'm just going to do another coat and it will go back in the oven. I left it on um, for another 10 minutes or so and then I'll be back. I did the other coat and I dried it for another 10 minutes. Perfectly dry. It's awesome. I'm not going to put a third coat. Two is more than enough. I would feel like doing it just because it's so fun. But I'm stopping here. I don't want to finish with gloss. I like the matte. It does have a little bit of a gloss to it. So you can see a little bit. So that's good enough. Now I have to figure out exactly what I want to do to finish this top here. I'm going to be trimming some of this and when I cut this box I didn't do it like perfectly straight so it's not even I didn't know I was going to fall in love with it so I wish I would have done a better job with that but I totally forgot to you know make sure that the top was you know not lopsided but that's okay um, let me think about how we're going to finish this and I'll be back as soon as I figure that out I thought about it long and hard for at least two minutes. <laughs> I really wanted to make like, you know, like a lining that would just sit in there and like kind of go over the edge and that, you know, it's something that could come out. But I don't think I feel like doing that. I think I feel like just gluing fabric on the inside. The four sides first and then the bottom and Mod Podging that too because I feel like Mod Podging. But the first thing I need to do is trim some of this shit that's happening here all on the top. I will use my cheapy scissors for that. And you can cut Mod Podged things. It's like a little bit stiffer but we can deal with that. Let's clean that up a little bit. And then I might I don't know, I might embellish around the top if it, you know, doesn't look finished. I could put some ribbon there or some lace or whatever. I think I'm going to like it better if it's just glued fabric in there. It'll be a nice clean look. So let me get some fabric. I was having a very hard time figuring out what I wanted to put for fabric on the inside. I decided I wanted something plain to not take away from the busyness of this stuff that's going on. Now when I look at this box, the colors that jump out at me are the yellow and either the red or this rusty color. And I found this, a modeled rusty kind of color and I think that's going to be okay in there. I like it. So now what I'm going to do, because I'm not doing any more sewing, this is going to be just all gluing it. It's about four inches wide so I'm going to cut four and a half and it's about three inches tall and I'm going to cut a generous amount so let's say four and then I can fold um, fold the edges to line it up here. So I'm going to, what did I say? Four and a half by four. I'm just going to put some glue stick here 
and start by at least, you know, gluing this down. I think I want to have it wrap over. I really do. I think I want to do that. I probably should use the glue gun for that, but it's not heated up. Let's see if I can do anything with the glue stick. Oh, let me take this back out. Oh, I don't have the right side of my mat up. Don't have the craft side up. It's just going to be kind of hard to make it even, but should I really care? It's kind of an uneven box anyway. So let's just go with that. Now I'm going to just kind of like take this out and I need my regular glue. I'm just squirting some glue in there and I guess I'll spread it around with my finger. And I'm going to put this piece back in. Gee. I think I did an okay job. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think that's going to look pretty cool. I don't know if it's going to... It didn't quite make it to the bottom. Ugh. Oh, I'm taking this way too seriously. All right. I'm just going to do the other side off camera. I hope this is at least third grade level of arts and crafts. <laughs> I went ahead and put the four sides on because I was on a roll. And I have a hard time doing things when I'm recording because I can't record and think at the same time, apparently. I need to put the bottom. Yeah, it's going to be... It's not quite four by four. So I'm going to cut five by five. I might cut six by six just to be on the safe side and then I can trim. All right, I cut a piece six by six. I folded an inch in on all sides. So now it's a four by four and I think that's going to fit okay in the bottom of that. So going to put a little bit of uh, glue stick So this is what it looks like now. And I'm not going to shove it all the way down in there yet, but I think that's going to fit good. So I'm going to put glue in the bottom of this now. So excited. I think that was a lot of glue. Oh, I think that's going to be, like, perfect. I mean, I can see a tiny crack of cardboard under there, but I think for a third grader, <laughs> I did a good job. <laughs> That'll dry. It looks like velvet. Not at all. Okay. I love this, but I have to Mod Podge now. And I am going to be Mod Podging the whole thing, all the inside. That's the reason I did this, is because I feel like doing more Mod Podge. And out here, too. Now, I could have glued this. My memory card got full, so it cut me off. I was going to say that um, I could have used a glue gun to glue this. But with the Mod Podge, it's all going to work. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Mod Podge all the inside and this um, little edge here. Then I will put it in the oven to dry. I might do another coat. I don't know. But I will be back tomorrow and I will show you this in daylight. And we can marvel at it together. <laughs> I don't think anybody likes this as much as I do. I hope it at least gives you an idea, but doesn't it look way better than video number one? I mean, it looks so finished now. Too bad I didn't have the dark fabric like this down here, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right, you guys, I will um, do my thing and I'll see you 
tomorrow. It's the next day and I am back with probably the craftiest thing that I have done in quite a while. I am so happy that I made this and that I finished this. I did two coats of Mod Podge on the inside and to me that looks like old-fashioned leather. You know like old leather chairs, the um, edge here. It really would have been cool to have that on the bottom and I could you know what would even be cooler and it would have finished the edges and I could do it but I don't I don't feel like doing it we're gonna stop here with this one but I could have put a piece here and fold it over and I could have made this same edging around the bottom <sighs> that's a good idea so see I will know for the next time because I will be doing this again I already have plans this little box is going to replace <laughs> this one that I've been using. I think fabric is arriving on my porch. Um, like I said, when I cut, I wanted something small at my cutting table to put like the salvages and stuff. And I'll show you. Then when I'm done for the night, this gets dumped into another box. This is the box that the salvages go in. And when it's almost full, that's when I do um, the penny auction for all these salvages. And I keep track of everything that goes in there on a pin, on little pieces of paper, kind of a dangerous pin. But I'm going to be covering this one. And I'll do, you know, different than this. You know, every video is different and I'm having a blast with this. And I'm sure I will keep coming up with ideas and embellishing and doing all that. So this is super sturdy. It's just awesome. I'm very happy with it. And now the little selvages won't get caught under the flaps like it was doing in the other little box that I was using. So this is my baby right here. And uh, I will be making much more. I'm going to take pictures. I'm going to try to take the same shots or close to that I took in the first video and then coming up you will see like the before Mod Podge and the after. I'm really curious to see you know the difference because to me it just looks so clean. I just love it so much. I have to I have to get past this and do other things. <laughs> Stick around for the little slideshow. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, and I promise there are more crafts on the way. I know I got all into the quilting and the fabric and all that stuff, but my heart is all crafts, not just sewing. This is more of my kind of passion. I, I really just enjoy anything creative, but I love stuff that involves, you know, painting, which is what I was doing with the Mod Podge, and I still get to incorporate the fabric. I get to cut cardboard. Just love it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye!